Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. I hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video on Meme. I um, wanted to do a full video on this. I mean, this is basically one of the only coins that, that has actually moved quite a bit in the weekend. Um, so I wanted to give you my thoughts. Also, because I do think that there's a real opportunity that will move uh, and that we rally higher. At the moment, it's up 24% over the start of the weekend. So including Saturday night. Um, but that, but, but you can see down here as well, it, it still has a lot of momentum. Momentum has increased significantly. Um, we'll take a look at that a little bit more in a moment as well. But it's still lower than, than uh, what, what we've done right here. All right, so there's still room for more momentum to kick in, I would say. Um, we have uh, very nicely broken some sort of a structure here. Whether you want to trust this structure, yes or no, doesn't matter. We've broken this trend line. And most importantly, we've also broken above a significant key level right here, around 1.25 cents. Um, so at the moment, meme actually looks quite good. Now, the one thing that I don't really understand is why meme coin is bullish like this. Now, I read up on it a little bit. Uh, maybe some sort of a, a season two is coming up. That's that's a possibility. That would be a very good explanation about this. Um, but but if you it, like these statistics down here, it's mostly leveraged positions, right? So if actually some sort of a new airdrop was coming up for this, I'm not sure if we would see leveraged positions. I would say I, I, I would say we would get much more spot positions coming in. Could also be true that that's also coming in, but still. Um, but it looks quite good. I mean, the volume is also up 144% over the last 24 hours. Like I said, the momentum is up. Um, what I wanted to look at and what I wanted to dive into is, is kind of the order flow right here. So, so kind of to see what's flowing in in terms of open interest. Uh, but no, what you can see is that there's, there's just a, a ton of positions being opened. Um, and it's not only uh, long positions. And that's great. Right. So, for example, what you can see is that we've had a, a massive short position opening overnight right here cvd going down open interest going up and then throughout this this entire time you can actually see that there's quite a lot of short positions being opened basically all at the current prices and that's interesting all right because that means that uh, the open interest has gone up quite a bit but it's not only long positions trying to push up the price no it's also short positions trying to make some money off of this which means that there's a lot of liquidity and stop losses to the upside so um, regardless of why meme is bullish, and I, I, I always want to know why something is bullish, that, that makes the confidence in certain trade setups much, much better, uh, of course. But for now, I, I do think it is most likely that meme is going to continue to be bullish. With this, with this volume, with this momentum, I expect Bitcoin to continue to be relatively bullish at least. I, I, I don't expect Bitcoin, aka the market, to turn bearish. So I would say it's most likely, like preferably what I would see is some sort of a retest of this level right here between 1.3 and 1.25 cents. All right, if we can get that and we actually get a solid reaction from that, then I would be even more certain that we can at least aim for, for back up to 1.5 and 1.55. Um, but overall, given all the circumstances added up right now, I would say this is most likely. And uh, due to all the short positions being opened here, I, I think it's even possible to get a bigger spike up into 1.7 and 1.75 cents. Um, but I'll try to keep you updated on this. On, on this, in general, be careful, right? Due to the the, the very uh, due to the increased open interest here, it's just going to get very volatile. So if you want to trade this, either use very low position sizes, low margin, low leverage, excuse me. Um, or just use a very wide stop loss, right? Wide stop loss with a smaller position size. And you're good to go because like I said, I, I do think this is uh, one of the most interesting coins at the moment to trade. So those are my thoughts. That's what sort I of think is most likely. Those are my views on the current situation. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. But for now, have a great Sunday. Uh, take care and bye.